What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Frenchie. My name is Francesca, but you could call me Francesca or Frenchie. Whichever one you like, girl, call me that. Y'all, there has been so much procrastination when it comes to filming this video. I don't know what it is, but it's just, hang on, because let me just go get what we're gonna do today, and then I'll talk about it real quick. You guys, it has been a long time coming when it comes to this video. I don't know what it is, but I just haven't really felt like doing it. If I'm gonna be quite honest with y'all, I just really haven't felt like doing it. Like, <laughs> I haven't. Um, I haven't done a Boohoo clothing haul since I started my channel, like a while back, like it was one of my first videos. So we are doing a Boohoo clothing haul. I'm so excited to be filming this video. I am pulling together all the strength that I could possibly pull together in my body so I could get this done for you guys. I do not wanna do a lot of talking before we get started with today's video. If you have not subscribed to your girl's channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If there is anything that you see in this video that you like, I will have it linked down below if it is in stock. And that's all you guys, like there's nothing really left to say. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay you all, so this is the first dress. I don't really feel like this dress is maternity friendly. I just feel like with this dress, you do have to be careful with the undergarments that you wear. Um, if you do wear a specific bra like I'm wearing right now, you can probably see the outlines of the designs. Um, same thing that goes with your panties. So I just feel like for that reason alone, being pregnant, I don't know if this is a really good dress for me, but I do think it is very cute. I like the fact that it has like the open side right here so you can kind of get a little bit of belly action. I love that. Um, and then I do kind of just like, I like the overall look of the dress. The fit is very, very spandexy, very fitted to you. So I think that's very cute. It's really just dependent on your preference. Um, it is also very long. So if you're my height around 5'5", five, five, you're gonna wanna wear some heels. I have on a pair of heels right now and it's still like almost touching the ground. I definitely wouldn't say that this is short girl friendly, but I do think it's cute. You just have to be careful with what you wear underneath it. That's my only thing. I got this dress in a size US 8. It is very stretchy, like I said, so if you do grow with your pregnancy, I do think that this dress can grow with you, but of course it may have its limits, I'm not sure. because I'm so used to wearing stuff that's like more form-fitting, you know, and since I've been pregnant, I don't really like to wear a lot of tight stuff. I really just like to be comfortable. But what caught my attention with this dress was definitely the sleeves. I feel like the sleeves were so, so cute. And then it does have like this little rope right here that you can tie. Y'all, I like this, but it is kind of giving, like this is a, a Jesus robe. Like, you know, it's giving, I turned water into wine. It's giving I rose on the third day, you know? It's cute though, don't get me wrong. It is definitely very, very cute and very, very lightweight. I definitely feel like you can wear this in the summer. It's just, that was my first thought when I put this on. I'm like, y'all, I feel like one of the disciples or something, like I don't know. <laughs> but it's really, really cute, you guys. I actually got this in a size six and I'm glad I did because it's very, very stretchy, especially up here. So you don't need to size up with this one. My normal size is a size six, even before I was pregnant. So I'm kind of glad that I got this size and it definitely has a lot of room for the baby to grow. Like it is just very flowy. It's very flowy up top right here as well. This dress is also not that long with the last one. Um, the other one I had to put on heels because I was dragging on the floor. Um, but this one, I just have my regular house shoes on and it still comes like just below my ankles. So it's not touching the floor, it won't get dirty, which I really, really love.
guys, so this is the next dress. This is just kind of like a knitted dress and it is striped. I think this is really cute. I don't remember what size I got this one in, so I'll definitely post it here on the video, but it's very, very cute. It's a little bit baggy for me. I almost wished I got a smaller size, but then again, I don't, because I know as I continue to grow and gain weight, if I got a smaller size, it would have been too tight. So at least this one gives me room to grow. It's actually a lot stretchier than I thought. What, what am I doing? It's actually a lot stretchier than I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be a dress that would kind of be hard to walk in because it's so limited with how much give it gives. So yeah, but this is really, really cute. It's lightweight, surprisingly. A lot of knitted stuff that I find is almost like sweater material. And I don't get that a lot because it's just it's too hot here in Texas to be wearing sweater type stuff. I just can't. But this all in all is very, I like it. I like it. I'm trying to stop saying something is very, very cute or it's so cute. I'm always saying something is cute, but I actually really do like this. I'm not normally a fan of stripes. Like I really don't have a lot of stripes in my closet. This is probably like one of two or three things. Stripes just don't really always flatter me, but this one kind of, it kind of grew on me. The more I had it on and was looking in the mirror, I do like it a lot. dresses this is in a size medium and it actually fits me very well I love the colors y'all know I just told you I'm not a big stripe person but this this I can do this I can do for sure I definitely like it it is kind of a sweater material but it's also lightweight if that makes sense you could definitely wear this to you know a symbol of it you can dress it up with some heels however you want to do it it does not go all the way down to the ankles it stops like I would say mid leg and then the sleeves don't necessarily go all the way down to your wrist um, but you can kind of like you know pull on it and it'll be fine it's really really pretty it just reminds me of like you know the summer springtime but I do really like this I'm glad I got it and it is stretch as well you guys like this has quite a bit of stretch on it I definitely feel like you know my belly can grow with this dress which is a huge plus for me dress it is strapless and it just has like these little flowers on it it is more of like a mesh material but then there is something underneath to kind of keep you covered but I love this it's very comfortable it's very lightweight it's not as stretchy as the other dresses are but it does still give you some room I'm not sure what size this is you guys I've just been putting the clothes on without even double checking the size but I will leave the size on the screen just in case but I do like this a lot. This actually might be like a baby shower consideration dress. I don't know. I was a little skeptical of how this one would fit me, but boohoo, they kind of did their thing with this one. Like so far, there hasn't really been one that I dislike. There hasn't really been one that I wanted to return or one that I regret buying. dresses but these are definitely more so I guess if you're having a girl but I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl right now but I mean it doesn't really matter I mean 
what you're having in your pregnancy doesn't really dictate what you can wear necessarily. Um, but I am trying to just wait until I find out my gender until I buy too many clothes of one color. Um, <laughs> but those last three dresses were cute, y'all. I just could not leave those on the website. But this is the last one and this is in a size eight. I do recommend that you size up on this one. This one was a little bit uh, too tight for me, especially up here. If you wanna size up just to be on the safe side, I definitely recommend that, but I should have got a 10. I felt like it would have just given me a little bit more extra room. But this is short girl friendly, so it goes right to the ankles. I'm about 5'5 five five for height reference. This could be worn for a baby shower dress as well, you know, if you're having a girl. Again, I don't know what I'm having yet, so this will not be saved for the baby shower, but it's a possibility if I am having a girl. But all in all, I really like this dress. Like I said, it is a bit too snug on me. So if you are thinking about getting this one and you're pregnant, I recommend sizing up, especially if you're in your second trimester already and you normally wear like a six to an eight, get a 10. Like if you normally wear like a four to a six, I would recommend you get an eight. It's just a very, very, very fitting dress, but I do like it. So that is actually all that I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am currently 17 weeks and five days. Yes, I had so much fun filming this for you guys. It's been a while, a while since I've done a clothing haul. But I'm just excited to kind of be getting back in the groove with my clothing hauls. I'm excited to do more content for you guys and just really share with you all my journey and updates as this pregnancy progresses. I don't wanna do a lot of talking before you all head out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If there is anything that you liked in today's haul, check the description box below. I will have everything that I can linked there. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye babes. Mm -hmm.